Rating, plus 75 plus X. Photo of SCP-1490 recovered from area of discovery. Titled, My Best Work. Quote, An instance of a partially finished SCP-1490-2. Recovered during the capture of SCP-1490. Item hash, SCP-1490. Object class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1490 is to be held in a standard humanoid containment chamber. Furnishing includes a bed and several children's toys. And standard rations will be provided daily. Personnel may only view SCP-1490 through video surveillance. And interaction is to be avoided at all times. SCP-1490 is to be immediately tranquilized upon any signs of delight or happiness. All instances of SCP-1490-2 created are to be euthanized and cremated immediately after testing. Description SCP-1490 is a Caucasian human male of approximately 1. 1 meter in height. It appears to be of 7 to 8 years in age and has proven docile and cooperative when provided with its necessities. Communication has proven ineffective, as it displays no reaction towards outward stimuli while outside of its range. SCP-1490 will only recognize any human visible to it as its mother or father, depending on their gender. SCP-1490 will then attempt to approach them, until they are within its range of effect. SCP-1490's main anomalous effect acts on any human within 4 meters of distance, though it can only target individuals if they are in its visual range. Any physical barriers preventing interaction with targeted subject S will prevent SCP-1490's anomalous effect. Upon entering its proximity, SCP-1490 will immediately display excitement and will attempt to make physical contact with the subject. Any obstacles preventing SCP-1490 from doing so will cause it to react in disappointment. When any living human comes into contact with SCP-1490, all components of their skeletal, muscle, and epidermal system will be affected, turning the subject into SCP-1490-2. The following is the list of effects on SCP-1490-2. X-rays have shown that bones will become deficient in proteins, similar to an accelerated state of osteoporosis, and will eventually degenerate completely. The muscles of SCP-1490-2 will increase in mass and size, and will also become flaccid and weak. Muscles will continue to grow in mass until the formation of a cubical enclosure around SCP-1490-2, with the growth particularly originating from the torso. All limbs of SCP-1490-2 will recede into the torso, and all other organs not present in the skull will be incorporated into muscles. SCP-1490-2 will resemble a cube consisting of flesh approximately the height of the subject's original form. SCP-1490 will then proceed to shape SCP-1490-2 to resemble organisms from the kingdom Animalia. Recently logged creations include a tiger, a frog, and an octopus. Methods utilized by SCP-1490 include repeatedly slamming its head onto SCP-1490-2 kicking or striking with its limbs to create depressions, biting and pulling at SCP-1490-2 to form limbs or to tear off unneeded material, and muttering into SCP-1490-2's ear. SCP-1490 will eventually stop activity, allowing SCP-1490-2's muscles to solidify and preventing further change to its structure. The epidermis will change in shade. Corresponding to the animal SCP-1490-2 was made to resemble. They will display enthusiastic behavior and servility towards SCP-1490. Though vocal communication has not been recorded, 
SCP-1490 will then appear to inspect SCP-1490-2, and will often react with disgust or distress. It will feign ignorance of its presence. Despite persistent actions by SCP-1490-2 to please it, Addendum 1490-C, SCP-1490 was recovered from an upstate mansion in Three instances of SCP-1490-2 were also found in the house. A crude handwritten note was found in the third-story bedroom, assumed to be produced by SCP-1490. The paper appeared to be torn out of a composition textbook, with the writing quality increased with each paragraph, leading to the assumption that the note was written over a long period of time. They came to me, and asked me what art was. They said that they could show me what it truly was, but they must see if I was ready. I finished mother and father, but they looked at me strangely. I tried to finish my brother, but he wasn't good enough. So I, illegible, right through him, various scratched out drawings of what appears to be crude drawings of various animals and people. They say it's not enough. Not right. I must be with them. My true peers. I want my work to illegible. I will create from the wretches that block my path. That's the only thing I was ever good at. After all, we're all friends here. Sometimes, all we need is a change in perspective. Even if it tears you apart, 